Okay, I have the Plaster of Paris. That's what I'm using for the, the, um, like this. The grout. I don't know what you would call it. Um, it's not grout, of course, I don't think. You use, I don't know if they use this for grout, but it's almost like the tile work, right? You put it in between the tiles. So, and I finished the jar. So you can see. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> you want to mix this. It needs to be thicker. That's too thin. So let me add some more. Plaster of Paris is very inexpensive. It's a big box. It's about, it's a four pound box for $5. I bought this at Walmart. And they say don't mix too much. Well, just because then you have to throw it away because it hardens. Oh my goodness. I already made a mess on my shirt. <laughs> That's okay. He'll come out. So I'm using a plastic container that I'm just going to throw away. I'm using a plastic spoon to mix it. Still too thin. We need it a little thicker than that. We want it kind of like a paste so we can actually work with it and it's not going to drip all over the place. You want to mix it really well, get all the, it's like mixing batter, cake batter. And I had an idea what to use with some of the this plaster of Paris. Um, I think this would make great stepping well stepping stones. But actually, I'm wondering if it would, if it's if I need cement. I probably need cement. I know I don't know. I never. But I was thinking about making the stepping stones and putting shells in it. I think you probably have to use cement, right? Weatherproof. I don't think this is weatherproof. I don't know. I, I didn't read the, the entire box, but anyways. It's getting thicker. Let's make sure all the lumps are gone. You want to wear a plastic glove because your hands are going to be touching this stuff because you want to get it all in the cracks. Yeah, that's getting better. The consistency needs to be workable. You may hear the wind in the background. It's pretty windy here today. And I have the wind the wind open. <laughs> I have the window open. So they say this dries up to six to ten minutes, so that's good, right? So you kind of want to work fast, I guess. Let's see if that's good consists good consistency. Let's see if I need a light. Do I? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if it's light enough. There, that's better, I think. So 
I'll show you what we do. And then when it's all done, I will show you guys in another video when it's all done. And I have a candle in there. So you just want to drip it on. And just get it in all the grooves, all the cracks. There'll be a little bit of air bubbles that come up. You can actually put your hand in it. I can actually put my hand in here because it's the mouth of it's pretty. Well, my hand's small, but it still fits. Okay. Now, these types of crafts I would not sell because <laughs> only because the sea glass, you can't find this too many places, right? You have to go search for it. So I, I would keep these for myself. I thought I was going to make a bigger mess than this. And what I have in my kitchen sink is a, um, like a bucket that I am going to, because I don't want this stuff going down the sink. So what I'll do is when I go to sponge this off, when it dries more, I will take a sponge and go and go over it like that, showing the glass. And then rinse it out in the bucket. Oh, uh oh, one fell off. Oh, that is not good. I'll. <clears throat> what will I do about that? My glue gun is shut up, shut off right now. Well, I'll fix that later. And then I'll just mix up a little bit and and fill it in. I think they use this for casts, don't they? Plaster of Paris. I remember using this in school when we used to have, when we had craft, um, art class as a kid. 
I don't think they teach art. Do they still teach art in school? Some schools, maybe. I thought they did away with a lot of, of those types of classes, like gym and... I don't know. I could be wrong. Art. I hope they didn't. I think they did in some of my, where I used to live. It's not going to be completely even because of the glass isn't even. So. You guys all see that? Yeah. my next video is going to be on making butterflies out of seashells. And I believe I'm going to use a few different seashells to make different looking butterflies. It's starting to dry. I get thick. So when this starts to get, oh, now now it's getting messy. Look at this. <laughs> now it's getting messy. Everything's drying. My all the stuff on my gloves is drying. I gotta work faster than this. When they say it dries in 10 minutes, they weren't, 6 to 10 minutes, they weren't kidding. And when I use the wet cloth, it's going to make it wet again, so... So if I have any crumbles in here, hopefully they'll smooth out. Because I think I'm getting dry, dry plaster of Paris on this. Okay, I think that's good. I probably put too much on it. Okay. That looks good. Except for that one piece that fell off. So move all the crumbles out of the way. Put your project down. Take the glove off. And throw all this mess away. Go get my wet cloth. Oh, actually, 
I have to do this over the sink, I think. I don't know. I want to let it dry a little bit more so it's... All right, let me go get that. Just use an old rag. It's not a very clean project. <laughs> it's very messy. Rub it. I probably put more than I should have on this. I don't know what I was thinking. So it kind of it's kind of makes it hard to come off. As long as this keep it wet with the rag. I'm gonna use some strength to get there and in between all the little crevices. go wash my rag rinse out my rag and I'll be right back I actually dumped I actually dumped this under the water to get it all wet. Now I wish I didn't put so much on it. You know what I might use is a um on the old toothbrush. do that. That might be easier to get this stuff off. So don't use so much. That's tip number one. <laughs> Learn from me if you do this. And you can, oh no, two more fell off. Oh no, I'm going too hard and don't use a lot of strength. I'll have to fix that. I'll fix that. No problem. Oh, let me go to the sink. I'm going to put this on pause. Okay. I used the toothbrush and a little 
Brillo pad things. Not Brillo pad, but one of those plastic scrubbies. So my recommendation <laughs> is not to use so much plaster. Now, this one I made was years ago. So, so I got to do touch up a few of the stones that fell off. And it's fine. It's fine. So, that's it. Okay. Um, I'll be back when this is... Well, I will show you this in my next video. i got to take these two pieces, three pieces, and put them back. And um, I'll show you the finished product in my next video. as I still remove some of the plaster, but it, it looks pretty good. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you soon. Until next time, have a beautiful day.